It's Kamala here, the peace of God to you. And in prayer, I'm going to pray that the blood of Jesus Christ cover my mouth before I speak so that my words may be His words and not my own. And a couple of things I want to talk about tonight is, one, a false witness shall not be unpunished. And he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Proverbs 19.5 Well, I've recently been lied about and attacked and reported, apparently, um, for things that weren't even true. Um, so, what do I do about that? I forgive. This book is not the Bible, but it's How to Know Your Bible from A to Z. And it's talking about a life lesson on forgiveness. Um, to err is human, but to give is forgive is divine. That is not a biblical saying. But um, it talks about the human tendency to be able to forgive ourselves is sometimes more easy than it is to forgive others. And I attest for my own self in times that has been true. But... Regardless of our past and our mistakes, God's ready to grant forgiveness through our, His Son's death and payment for all our faults. Are you ready to accept His offer? And if you have received His forgiveness, show a spark of divinity and pass it on to others. As the Bible advises, forgive others just as God has forgiven you. Ephesians 4.32 and even here we have, when Peter was asking Jesus, he says, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. And Jesus answered, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Matthew eighteen twenty one through 22. Oh, and I'm going to note on that, that that is also a scripture that, is not changed in the Bible as Cat, who has had a quantum experience, is claiming. It always said that. And what's 70 times 7? 490. That's a lot of forgiveness. Let's find it in us, people. Amen.